Hi, I'm Paul Malhotra, Senior Manager for Connected Vehicles and Infotainment at Audi of America. I want to give you an introduction to the ZFast module that we use for piloted driving. Piloted driving is a term that Audi coined. Uh, we basically use it as our preferred way to discuss autonomous driving in the vehicle. Audi believes that even in autonomous modes, the pilot or the driver should always be in the vehicle and ready to take control of the vehicle whenever the situation demands it. However, there are times when the vehicle is capable of controlling the car when the driving becomes uh, either stressful or boring or just plain uh, uh, not a good use of time. A 2013 CES, we demonstrated a car that could manage a traffic jam situation. We demonstrated a car that could park on its own. Um, in the 2014 CES, we introduced what we call the ZFast module. And if you can see that down here, this is the module that at the time had been compressed from being the size of an entire trunk of a vehicle down to the size of a um, laptop. Now, this has gone through further integration. And the ZFast module, as you can see now, in the um, 2015 version, uh, is much smaller than even a tablet. So we're certainly becoming a lot more integrated. This module uses the NVIDIA K1 processor. Uh, the big advantage of the K1 is that it has 192 cores, which basically means that it is the equivalent of having a supercomputer on a chip. And you almost need that kind of computing capacity in order to take all the sensoric information that comes from a piloted car from ultrasonic sensors, laser sensors, from uh, uh, radar sensors, and cameras, and make sense of it in order to make decisions in rapidly and real time to allow the car to make the adjustments that it makes. So in 2015, as you know, we, we have a, uh, a route that was run from San Francisco to Las Vegas, 560 miles, over the course of two separate days. The vehicle is capable of uh, not only maintaining its lane, but also changing lanes, as well as alerting the driver when it times to come back and control. And if there isn't, the, if the control is not taken in a, within a 10 second time frame, the vehicle can actually execute a maneuver to move the vehicle towards the side into a safe position, bring it to a stop. So all of this was demonstrated. This is using sensors that are very much production ready or near production ready. So what we're trying to express here is piloted driving is not a fantasy of the future. It is something that is very close to reality, something that can happen very quickly, and technology now is not really the limitation. Uh, we certainly are looking at introducing these types of features as soon as the next generation A8. Uh, but certain types of pilot assist features may actually make their way in earlier vehicles such as the Q7.